Let me preface this article by saying Grandel has been bad, and there's no way around it. Post the all-star break Grandel is slashing a 4.204.276.319 with a decent 8 home runs. The issue is the Grandel looks lost at the plate, striking out at an alarming rate of 33% 50 strikeouts and 153 at-bats. Those numbers get worse through his performance the first two weeks of September. In September, Grandel has only managed two hits in 38 at-bats culminating to a .053 batting average, an even worse on this percentage of .196. Grandel has struck out 20 times in those same 38 at-bats which leads to an abysmal 53% strikeout percentage that's even worse than bad. So why am I defending Grandel again? Oh yeah, defense. While I was on my way home last night after the game, I was listening to AM 570's Dodger Talk hosted by David Vassett. During their opening segment, Vassett pointed out something that I initially wasn't able to catch when watching the game. Before Kershaw gave up his first career grand slam, Vassett noted that Kershaw and Austin Barnes were quite on the same page that inning. He went on to say that Kershaw seemed frustrated with Austin Barnes after his second visit to the mound. Vassa feels that may have affected the pitch that ended up in being a grand slam pitch. Vassett and former GM Ned Coletti went on to stress the importance of a pitcher and catcher being on the same page, especially in crucial moments with the game on the line. Austin Barnes has done an excellent job in spot starts, but Grandel has been Kershaw's catcher this season. We witnessed this when Grandel first arrived, and Don Mattingly kept A.J. Ellis on the team to be Kershaw's catcher. Kershaw is a highly competitive pitcher and takes his preparation for each start very serious. So small things like who's catching him could throw off his routine in the postseason. I know Grandel is struggling mightily, but perhaps his real value is the way he receives the games. Grandel is in the top tier of MLB catchers defensively. Kershaw loves having Grandel behind the plate because of his ability to get more called strikes and control the running game. When you compare the defensive numbers between Barnes and Grandel, the main difference is in managing the running game. Grandel has caught 21 of his 63 base stealers 33%, while Barnes has caught 6 of 27 26% base stealers. Grandel without a doubt needs to make adjustments. He's a much better hitter than the way he's performing right now. It makes the most sense for Roberts to keep Grandel as the starter once the postseason begins, because Grandel has the experience and the familiarity with the pitching staff. In the postseason limiting base runners is an essential aspect of the game. If Grandel can help limit, that it can prove to be valuable. This endorsement of Grandel does not have anything to do with Barnes. Barnes is one of the biggest surprises of the season, and he has proven to be a valuable player on this club. At least for this season, Barnes brings more value to the team off the bench. He's a versatile catcher that can play the infield in defensive substitutions. He has top-of-the-line speed that can be used in pinch-running situations. He is a proven pinch hitter with nine hits and 30 at-bats. Barnes' time to start may come sooner than the Dodgers' front office expected after his performance this season, but at least for this postseason run, this is still Grandel's pitching staff to manage.